it is Monday, March, sorry, it is May 13th, and um, I've been home for a little less than a week, so I didn't update you anymore uh, while I was at the hospital. It was a rough experience, but I'm glad to be home. And what happened was that uh, the previous Monday, I was sent down uh, to the um, uh, radiologist for the ultrasound and draining of the abscess. Um, I do. But when she did uh, an assessment, the abscess seemed to have started to drain itself. So she said that it wasn't really necessary for her to do any sort of medical procedure to help that along because it wouldn't, wouldn't really make a difference. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy about that. That's a relief. She did say that she saw a lot of edema in and around the surrounding tissue, which could explain also why it's still hurting a lot when I sit and why my body seemed to be in more pain than usual. So I am up today. Uh, like I said, I, I'm saving the sitting days for necessary occasions. Had to get some blood tests done for my endocrinologist next week. And um, other than that, um, trying to keep my, my spirits up. I'm really tired of everything. And you know, after one week of IV antibiotics, I am now on five weeks of uh, antibiotic tablets. I'm not sure if the names are the same. So one is called Flagular fla flag Flagile, Flagile, and then Augmentine. Um, at least one of them, not really sure which um, is making me really nauseous. That happened last time too. So one, one week down. Four to go. Um, I am going in one more time um, to the plastic surgeon for an assessment of the pressure sore in May, and then I also have what I hope might be my final appointment on June 11th. Um, yeah, um, not really sure if it's healing anymore. They're still finding these fistulas that they can enter, which is not the best scenario, but hopefully, you know, with me spending that much time in bed and relieving the pressure, that will get better with time again. <laughs> um, it's um, a little bit more painful this week because on Friday we have our National Day, the 17th of May. And it, in Norway, it, it is a big, you know, it, it's a celebration. We wear our national suits. We watch the kids earlier in the morning when they do their, I don't even know what you would call it, march uh, around the surrounding neighborhood. And then later in the afternoon, we have the, um, bigger march, which usually consists of um, sports teams, dance groups, so they sort of show off their skills and um, the scouts usually march. So it is really what we call a folkefest, um, a uh, community party celebration. So I'll miss it again this year, it seems. But at least I, um, I'll likely be able to sit and have some food and cake with my, 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 my mom and Stena. Um, yeah, sitting just really hurts. So I might have been able to sit more if I could, but I start sweating <laughs> the moment I enter the chair. And if, if you have a spinal cord injury or any sort of other uh, handicap, you might know that pain tends to trigger perspiration. That's just how it is. Um, and there's not really a good way to manage that because the pain medication isn't really helping anymore. 
so yeah it's just been it was hard coming home from Balgan floating on a cloud feeling like everything was finally going to change and then it's just It's gotten to the point where it feels like whenever something really good happens, I get really nervous because my brain automatically, you know, it triggers this warning, warning, um, a fall or a drop ahead. <laughs> and I would just, I really don't want that to be true. I just, I just want that to be my imagination. But yeah, life, it happens. And, um, I wanted to take you along on a tour of my mom's spring garden, which is coming right after this. I'm trying to talk in the video, I don't know if we'll be able to use the audio because it is extremely windy today, uh, but if not we'll just put some music over it and that will make it all better. And there's also a little bit of Thor in uh, this video, because he tagged along and complained that we weren't giving him enough attention. Um, and he. Um, as you will see, he, he is limping, um, take heart, uh, we, we, we do believe that he is still doing very well. He is attentive, he seeks attention, he purrs, he talks, his tail is up, his fur is nice, and um, his overall demeanor doesn't seem to be affected. So whether it's just stiffness or that he's just trying not to put too much pressure on it, um, as you'll hear, the, the vet try to reassure us that so far it is okay. And then we'll just have to see. So yeah, there's many things going on that's tugging at my heartstrings, but we'll just try our best to, to stay afloat, won't we? He's right behind the tripod, which is why I'm talking to him. And I just hope that if, you know, life is handing you a lot of lemons too, that you're able to find that excellent lemonade recipe that just makes life all that sweeter even though things are, are hard. And for me, just being up a little today, getting out in the garden, getting some fresh air and some sun, that definitely helps a lot. So yeah. Yeah, uh, the 12th, um, he turned 14 on Saturday. So usually I do a little special something for him, but we'll just have to postpone that. I don't really think he knows, but he deserves a little bit of extra attention. So without further ado, um, let's get on with the tour. I'm gonna try to talk. It's exceptionally windy today, <laughs> but we'll try. So I just wanted to show you my mom's uh, spring garden. She was a bit self-conscious about it because she didn't feel that it's at its prettiest. But when I told her that we'd do a summer tour as well, when she's gotten everything arranged the way she wanted to, she felt a lot better. And there's a beautiful sound today from my mom's. I think they're called aspens, the really tall ones. And I really love that rustling sound that they make. It's sort of like white noise. And then we have our friends. Yeah. 
it's still early. There, there'll likely be more uh, as the spring progresses and summer comes. But I'll insert a clip from last summer just to show you how how they're following us. Just in case you know we're gonna throw some seeds down. It's quite hilarious and slightly scary. <laughs> And my mom's apple tree is flowering, so that's nice. The one outside my bedroom window has not flowered yet and it is just this gorgeous gorgeous magenta color i think i think it was flowering uh in the last video from last year but if not i'll definitely get a picture or something of that when it does because it is it is such a beautiful color And this is one of the areas that my mom really decorates with flowers and she loves seating arrangements. If she can make a place to sit, if it fits, I sit, I guess. And then this is tools, chaise a long. Don't know if I pronounced that right at all. Very orange. And usually there are groups, um, a lot of the a lot of the pots are out, but there's not a lot of flowering yet. So uh, if you remember from the last video, it was just full bloom everything. And I cannot wait to show you that as well because, you know, it's, it's hard for me to leave my home. I'm pretty isolated these days, but just being out here and having this... Hi! Yeah. So, um, yeah, Thor is limping. Uh, he is getting treatment for it. It, it, it looks bad, breaks my palmy heart, but, uh, the vet assured us that he doesn't seem to be in very real pain. Um, so we're just trusting that the shots he's now getting will just help with whatever ache or stiffness that he has. Um, some suspicion that he's playing a bit into it because whenever there's food or snacks he runs just fine but still it's my baby so if he's not doing too well i'm gonna care That is so precious. Cat, you know, the cat drinks, the birds bathe, the hedgehogs drinks as well. Oh, uh, it's the March of the Hedgehogs. So if you have any sort of cat food or dry kibbles, they love that. Just don't put up milk because it's actually very dangerous for them. They, they can, can die from it. And um, uh, they're uh, really active now at nighttime. So we have, I think, 
scene four or five and and we make sure that they have food and places to stay my mom bought a house and she wants to buy another so it's really nice to have those prickly friends as well in the garden yeah we'll move on And then we have ceramic for just the shock as always. And we have fracking. This spits water. Also very soothing. Also a bath and a drinking bowl. Let's head inside. Thank you so much for coming along. And I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you who is so supportive, encouraging, who offers prayer, compassion, good vibes, good thoughts, good energy, just sent into the universe. I, I had no idea when I started this journey that, <laughs> uh, you know, you could care for people across the world that you haven't really met before, but communicating on a regular basis with a lot of you have changed changed that. And um, I've gotten some nice letters lately, and I thought I just wanted to show you a couple of those as well. Sign up. So I have my trusted helper here to help me. And this one is from, I want to say the first name. Who is it from? Uh, Sibyl by Sam. Pauline. Pauline from oh. Australia, down under, mate. And it is just this gorgeous, gorgeous letter that she uh, made, or card that she made herself. And it is absolutely precious. And And look at this. And uh, it says in the card, this is not a long time off. It says, life is a book in volumes three, the past, the present, and the yet to be. The past is written and laid away 
the present we're writing every day. And the last and the best of the volumes, three, is locked from sight. God holds the key. So thank you, Pauline. I loved it and I'm kind of keep it out to look at it. <laughs> And then these are from uh, Maureen from Arizona and we just want to show the front so that we keep the messages private. But they're really pretty cards and um, she just wanted to show me. Look at the kitty! Aww. And she sent me some artwork as well which I really appreciate. I, I love art. And this one she made. I thought that was really pretty and it has a quote on it. I want to read the quote. It says, be of love a little more careful than of anything, which is by E.E. E. Cummings. And then that one, which I thought was so precious. And then uh, from Sue from California, uh, she sent me uh, a letter before that had these beautiful pop cards and you open them and there are uh, messages inside. And uh, the one that I've opened reads, so I'm not following. Pop cards, I think they might be called. Only when we are brave enough to explore, to explore the darkness will we discover the infinite power of our light by Brene Brown. And that could not have been any more fitting. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I have more to open. I'm <laughs> really excited. I want to show just one more. And this is just a beautiful, it turns into a peacock when you open it. And this is from Julie. Julie from uh, California. California. We got a lot of Californians. My husband picked up the letters from the post box and he sent me a text saying, you got a lot of letters and that was so nice. Thank you. And in the card, if we open it, it says the words that it represents. And that is power, strength and confidence, which I could use, use right now. So thank you so much, Julie. Julia. 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 <laughs> And also thank you so much to each and every one of you who also has been sending me emails and letters. I, it is so much fun. You know, I miss when I was a kid and we had pen pals. That's not a thing anymore, is it? <laughs> it was so much fun. It brightened, it really brightened my life. Showing the address. Thank you. Gonna take that away. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for spending time with me today. And, um, We'll talk soon. From my light to yours. <laughs>